Welcome to Sunday Prayers with the Stamford Methodist Circuit for Sunday the 7th of April. Happy Easter! I haven't gone completely mad by offering you that greeting. For Christians, Easter isn't just a single day of celebration, Easter Day itself, which we celebrated a week ago. Rather, Easter is a whole period of celebration, lasting 40 days until Ascension Day, the 9th of May this year, and then Pentecost, 10 days later, the 19th of May, which will coincide with our Circuit Farm Weekend at Normanton this year. Therefore, today isn't the Sunday after Easter, but rather the second Sunday of Easter. Throughout this wonderful Easter season, the Church's worship focuses on the appearances of the risen Jesus to people, other than that of his resurrection appearance to the women, very early on the first Easter day. So offering you the greeting, Happy Easter, is perfectly in order. Even better is to continue to offer the Easter greeting, Alleluia, Christ is risen, to which the response is, He is risen indeed, Alleluia. No surprise then, that our first hymn for Sunday prayers on this second Sunday of Easter is singing the faith 314, this joyful Eastertide, and it's sung for us in a recording by the choir of Wells Cathedral. This joyful Eastertide, away we'll sing at The following words, attributed to a Christian in Nepal, seem especially relevant to the appearances of the risen Jesus to his followers, which will be our focus from Scripture in this time of prayer and worship today. How glad we are to know and feel the touch of the risen Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we rejoice in the wonder of this day, the awesome, amazing truth that you rose from the tomb, conquering death and defeating evil. We celebrate your appearing to your disciples and your presence with us now. The way you have walked 
and talked with your people across the centuries, kindling faith, sharing love and inspiring service. Receive our joyful praise for all you have given. Life now and life forever. Amen. On Easter Tuesday, the 2nd of April, Thought for the Day on BBC Radio 4 was given by Tim Stanley, a historian and writer for the Daily Telegraph. He began by reminding listeners that Easter Tuesday would be the day when many people would return to work after the Easter Monday bank holiday, with a sense that Easter is over. He continued by commenting that this wasn't always so. In the year 877 AD, King Alfred the Great decreed that there should be a whole week off after Easter Day. This was to be a time for putting on new clothes, dancing and playing games, a general atmosphere of extended celebration. Tim Stanley commented on how short paid holidays, such as bank holidays, are an invention of the industrial era giving workers a brief respite so that re recharged, they might return to work even harder afterwards. He contrasted that with the ritual observance of the Christian year, with festivals lasting longer than a single day and thus disrupting the routine of life and work. Tim Stanley commented that the resurrection of Jesus is itself disruptive. Its celebration can't be limited to a couple of days or so over the Easter holiday weekend in March or April each year. Rather, the risen Jesus is our constant companion, loving us every minute and heartbeat of our lives. Tim Stanley ended his thought for the day like this. If dogs are not just for Christmas, then Jesus is certainly not just for the Easter bank holiday. So reminded that Eastertide is an extended period of celebration of Christ's resurrection, we hear the first part of today's Gospel reading. In dramatic form, we hear the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 23. It was late that Sunday evening and the disciples were gathered together behind locked doors because they were afraid of the Jewish authorities. Then Jesus came, stood among them. Peace be with you. After saying this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy at seeing the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. Then he breathed on them. Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive people's sins, they are forgiven if you do not forgive them they are not forgiven twice in that reading we hear Jesus greeting his disciples with these words peace be with you in the new international version of the bible both of those greetings from Jesus are followed by an exclamation mark. This seems to me to emphasise the significance and the necessity of this greeting from Jesus. After all, he's just appeared as if from nowhere among his followers gathered behind locked doors. Rather than greeting him calmly, I think they might have been scared out of their wits. They needed to hear Jesus' greeting of peace, and then hear it repeated by him. When I hear those greetings of the risen Jesus, I'm taken back to some verses in chapter 14 of St John's Gospel, 
words which we often read at funeral services. Jesus has tried to warn his disciples that the time was coming when he would no longer be with them, because he would be betrayed and killed. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me, Jesus said. And after speaking to his followers about preparing a home for them in one of the many rooms in his father's house, or mansion as it's sometimes translated, Jesus said to his followers, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you peace as the world gives it. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. This message is reassuringly repeated to his followers by the risen Jesus, and it's repeated for us in this time of prayer, in the words and music of this chant from Teze. My peace I leave you, my peace I give you, trouble not your hearts. hear the remaining verses of today's Gospel reading, the Gospel of John chapter 20 verses 24 to 31. One of the twelve disciples, Thomas, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. Unless I see the scars of the nails in his hand and put my finger on those scars and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, the disciples were together again indoors and Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but Jesus came and stood among them. Peace be with you. Put your finger here and look at my hands. Then reach out your hand and put it in my side. Stop your doubting and believe. My Lord. And my God. Do you believe? 
believe. Because you see me. How happy are those who believe without seeing me? In his disciples' presence, Jesus performed many other miracles which are not written down in this book. But these have been written in order that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through your faith in him, you may have life. The following prayer is offered by a Christian believer from Jordan on seeing the village rubbish tips in their country and reflecting on them against the background of the experience of Thomas and others like him. Let us pray. Lord, as we remember Job, stripped of all that he held most dear, maintaining his faith on the rubbish heap of his native town, and St Paul affirming that all things are to be counted as garbage for the sake of following Christ. We thank you for those who, even today, in many different parts of the world, are maintaining their integrity and discovering faith in situations of unbelievable privation and need. May we who have so much and suffer so little be more worthy of their company. And we continue in prayer. Risen Christ, yours is the power that reaches every human heart. You understand our lives and speak to us alike in joy and distress. You match your step to ours and so become companion to our lives and friend. Risen Christ, yours is the power that sweeps through the church. You come to bless and judge, you come in compassion and leadership, you come to change us and make us instruments of your good purpose. Risen Christ, yours is the power that stretches to the ends of the earth. You span the nations and go before us in mission and service. Risen Christ, come with power this Easter, touch our hearts enliven your church and turn the kingdoms of this world into the kingdom of our God. We pray in your name. Amen. And we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our final hymn is Singing the Faith 297. Christ is alive, let Christians sing. The cross stands empty to the sky. It's sung for us in a recording from Frodsham Methodist Church. Yeah. 
life eternal, replenish our tired lives. Light eternal, shine into our darkness. Peace eternal, banish our fear. Eternal word, speak to our deafness. Eternal Christ, break into our earthbound lives. For we believe, and though dead, we yet shall live. Amen. Thank you for sharing in this Eastertide time of prayer and worship. God bless you.